my name is Helena and I am the designer and dyer behind Fabul Knitwear. This is a knitting creative style video podcast. I'm very glad to have you here. I say we dive straight in as things are. First up, there is a knit along happening. There's not long left now. It ends on April 1st. It is the Magical Places knit along. Magical Places Cal, where you knit any or all four patterns from my Magical Places collection and join in either on Instagram or on Ravelry. There is, I'll post links to it below. Still a few weeks left, maybe one, two, what date is it? <laughs> Not long. So if you're working on one of those the projects, finish them up and you might be one of the lucky winners. So that's happening first up. I have also been working towards a huge shop update which is happening Friday the 20th of March. I'll talk about that at the end. Let's dive straight in to what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Eowyn blouse which is one of my patterns. It's one of my patterns from my heroine collection. Um, this is knit in Fab Knit Yarn, my hand dyed yarn, in my base Athena which is a merino gold stellina nylon base in the colourway Tonerosa which is Norwegian for Sleeping Beauty. I love this. I have, I've knit four of them. I've sold two just because I had to, I needed more space. Knitwear takes up a bit, quite a bit of room. So I have two and the reason I sold the other two was I could knit more. So I'm planning on knitting more. I just need to decide on color. I love this. It's knit bottom up, it's cropped, although you can't see it because I'm wearing it under a dress. And it has a square neckline, which is my favorite style neckline. It's so flattering on everyone. I've never seen someone who doesn't suit a square neckline. Uh, and I have seen many people, myself included, who don't suit, for instance, a typical crew neckline. So it's such an underrated neckline, in my opinion. I love a square neckline. Uh, so it has that, it has the puff shoulders, for that feminine vintage style look. It has sort of um, half length, I would say, elbow length uh, sleeves with a little ruffle at the bottom. I've seen people who opt to knit it without the ruffle and it still looks gorgeous, a bit more classic and not as, like really <laughs> each to their own. Um, but it, that gives it a really nice look as well without this and it's yeah you just skip this section in the pattern but that's what I'm wearing I love it it's finally it's it's spring now basically and I'm inside so I can wear my forearms bare with no trouble at all and also this is a really easy uh, garment to throw a cardigan on top of or a jumper if it suddenly gets really chilly but it won't not when I'm inside that's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing it. My Hearts and Found dress, which I showed you a couple of episodes ago, just because I love it. If I had this in black, cream, maybe red, maybe a green one, I would never wear anything else. I love this dress so much. I've uh, put it on my wish list for my birthday. One uh, for a few people in different colours and then if I get one I will be thrilled and if I get all of them I will be beyond thrilled. <laughs> I love this so much. Um, so that's what I'm wearing. Uh, it's a really easy garment to style with jeans or high waisted trousers or skirts. So yeah that's what I'm wearing. I have some finished objects to share. I showed you last time I showed you this. This is the Clara jacket by Clara Knitwear and it's so cute. Um, three of our friends and or three of our friend couples, or six of our friends basically, and my partner's sister are having babies so there's loads of baby knitting happening. I showed you this last time and I showed last time I was also working on this tiny thing. It's so cute. This is the same pattern I just modified the collar a bit because it's a little boy and well I don't mind a collar on a boy I'm not sure the parents are as 
I just don't know how they, if they would put him in it. So I wanted to make sure it's something he can wear. So I just made a tiny little collar. This is more like a, the shirt collar on, yeah, basic men's dress shirt. So that should be fine. Look how cute this is. Again, I've just, these can be taken down. I like knitting baby stuff with the longer sleeves because it's so easy to, you can wear it a bit longer then if the child grows quickly. This is knit in my colorway, Astronomy Tower. And this is my colorway storybook, which is the lighter version of Tony Dorset. And it's so adorable. This one has little wooden buttons and I could probably knit these forever. It's so quick. So, so, so quick. And so satisfying. And so cute. Uh, I also have, so there are four babies coming um, and I've knit three of them. This does not have buttons yet. It's knit in my colorway flare. Again, this is for the baby who's gender we don't know not that it matters but I have I want to use buttons for my stash and I have loads of pink buttons lying around and it's not something and they're like typical kids they're these these buttons and I'm not gonna put these on something for myself so it kind of needs to be kids clothing so if it's a little girl I'm gonna put those on and if not I have some more wooden ones so I would love to get to use, just get rid of the pink ones because <laughs> I'm not going to use them for anything else. But we'll wait and see if I get to use them or not. I think this is so cute. Uh, again, the collar, I chose to knit like a mid thing, not as long and uh, sort of frilly, but it still has the good, lovely detail at the back. So cute. I've not knit the fourth one yet. Uh, I really wanted to castle something for myself. But look at these lovely, cute little jackets. I would highly recommend this pattern. Even if you don't have any babies to knit for, maybe you can just. I, I know some people have like baby gift stash. I don't. That's probably a good idea now that people are starting to have babies. <laughs> so this is such a fun pattern and the tiny finished garments are so satisfactory to just look at. You just want to eat them, which is uh, weird. But I know other people feel the same with cute things. <laughs> they are so cute. So this is the Clara jacket from Clara Knitwear and this is how the collar is in the pattern and it's gorgeous. So yeah, two finished objects this time around, although they are tiny. And then I finished the cream one on Sunday evening and I cast on for something for myself that evening as soon as I finished that. Uh, I was talking about the Sugar Plum Jumper in maple mage bloom and oh my goodness have i been knitting on this although total disclaimer this is such a quick knit honestly i knit the first i think well sunday i started quite late but i probably neared the armhole section that first evening and then and I probably started it around like eight or nine o'clock in the evening. And then I knit up to that and a full sleeve the next evening. And then that and this the next evening. So it's such a quick knit. I think if I just had a day to knit all day, I probably would have finished it in that day because it's chunky yarn. But don't get me wrong, it's not a competition to finish quickly or anything. I've not been able to knit on it for the past two days just because there's been so much happening. Um, and also, I had this... I want to savour it. I'm, I'm not in a rush. And I've not been rushing. But I wanted to just slow down 
and don't finish it in three days because take some time enjoy the process i'm now at a raglan shaping oh i've got tiny i've only got a small a small circumference of needles so it's quite difficult to show you but i've gone thus far on the raglan i've decided i want to knit this without the turtle neck it's knit bottom up so that's really easy to adjust and also if i want to add the turtle neck come autumn winter i could just pick it up again just because i want to be able to wear it for spring and summer uh, well, summer might be a bit ambitious if it's chilly um, and so I want to do a loose just a loose normal round neckline for this and then to have the possibility to go back and pick up for the turtleneck if I so choose if this turns out well if this is successful I think I will add this as an instruction in the pattern as like an add-on um, in case someone else wants to do that as well I love this. Oh, I can't wait. Even though I just said I want to savour it a bit more and not miss it in a few days, I am really excited to wear it. This is my hand-dyed yarn. This is my base maple, which is a chunky three-ply merino base. And this is the colourway Mage Blue. Let me show you. Mage Bloom is a speckled colourway with gold, brown and teal sort of sage teal green and then the colours they blend together to become. I'm very very pleased with this. I can't wait to wear it. I think this is going to be so nice just with a skirt and some sandals or some like small pumps, flats, whatever you call them. I am really excited and it's so soft. So soft. So that's what I've been doing. I will probably, if I have time to knit later today, I'll probably finish it. Just very quick. Very excited. Uh, this is, I've currently used up, I'm currently on the sixth skein. I am knitting the size medium just because I want it to be oversized. I would usually opt for a small. Um, because I want it to have a bit more ease. This is skein six. I will probably have to dive into a seventh, but that's really not that bad for a bulky weight jumper with quite voluminous sleeves. Let's see how this looks. I've not done this yet. My goodness. <sighs> Okay, I am obsessed. This is amazing. Oh, and the cuff is so nice. Okay, so you need this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna stop, stop tooting my own horn. Maybe. I'm so happy with this. Oh, that was really fun. I love trying, kind of try. I, I never have the patience to try things on properly but I love trying on the sleeves so yeah that's me I decided I also talked previously about what I was wanting my next next project to be and I have decided I'm gonna knit a Rowena jumper which is pattern from my Hallows collection I'm gonna knit it in Gayless Tweed Petal which is one of my newest colorways Petal is like an antique powder pink and I think this is gonna be so lovely. I also really want one in Moulin Rouge, but spring coming up, I just knit a Minerva cardigan in wizard's robes, but still red, so I figured change things up a bit. And I do love a good powdery pink. Got my rules up, as we say in Norway. This is gonna be really, really nice. I, that's, I'm gonna start that straight after I finish the, um, Shoot my jumper. I'm really excited. After that, I'll go slash diving and maybe start the fourth baby knit. We'll see. I have a full list of things I want to knit up in my arms now. Which is really, really exciting to be able to have. My heirloom collection is 
coming this spring. It's I've not spoken to Pickles yet, but we need to make sure that the launch, because it's also a physical launch, happens when it's safe to do so. So we'll just wait and see. So far, we've said like end of April, beginning of May. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. But they are coming this spring. That's something to stay tuned for. I posted more sneak peeks of the antiquity blouse now on Instagram if you haven't seen it and you are curious. So yeah, that's my next my next project. That's all the knitting knitted things I have to share in my purse and everything. Um I have, as I said, a huge shop update happening on Friday, which is tomorrow. And I was meant to go to Christmas Sunday Festival and I dyed up everything for that and then I'd started dyeing for Stockholm Yarn Fest and they're not happening this spring because of, you know, <laughs> fair reasons. Um, but that means I have a lot of stock. Luckily, I hadn't, I'd only been dyeing for Stockholm Yarn Fest for three days when the news hit that it was moving to, it was being moved to the autumn. But I still have a lot of yarn. My last shop update happened on Monday and I had over a hundred skeins in that update. But um, I decided that this update would be all the rest. So there are nearly 600 skeins coming on tomorrow, on Friday, which is a lot of yarn. <laughs> So I've just been working like crazy to get that ready and photograph things that needed photographing and editing pictures and making the listings and counting everything and it's all ready for tomorrow. There are all my bases will be listed. There are several color, loads of colorways and good quantities in all the, the different bases. Some have like 20 skeins per colorway and sometimes there's two, it kind of depends. And there's also a good mix of one of a kind. Um, when dyeing huge quantities, there's, and trying new colors and everything, there's always a one of a kind or two that happen. And there's a good few of them and some of them, I love them, but I never wrote anything down, so I probably won't be able to recreate them just as they are. So if you're into that sort of thing, check, snag them up. Um, there's, I'm not going to list all the colours and all the bases because there's so much. If you su subscribed to my newsletter, you will have received that list. And if there's any interest in seeing that, let me know and I will post it on my, follow my Facebook group, the newsletter. But do subscribe to my newsletter if that's the sort of information you want to stay up to date on. There is so much here. There will be maple in mage blue, as I've been talking about that, there will, there will also be this. There will be storybook and astronomy tower and flare, just seeing all the colours that we have here. There is not any candles there, but there is this. Um, yeah, there's so much yarn. Do head over and check that out if you want to snag decent properties. Uh, properties? <laughs> Uh, do not snag anyone's property. Um, snag decent quantities of uh, yarn, sweater quantities, for instance. There is loads where that comes from. But yeah, loads and loads and loads of yarn hitting the shop on Friday the 20th. It will be happening at three o'clock um, at GMT plus one. I think there's recently been something happening with clock. I never stay up to date on that. Uh, the time it is in Oslo and Amsterdam. <laughs> Set your alarms if you are interested and there's colourways you know you want to snag. I have never done such a huge update and it's probably the only reason I have so much is because I was I had a show lined up and I'd start it for the next one. So I would be very very happy if you would help me take some yarn off my hands. <laughs> Since last week I've just been working. I know a lot of my friends who are practicing social distancing, as we are, um, as quite a few have, um, what's the word? I don't know what you call it in English. 
I'm dead. Uh, when you're on leave, um, you're not fired, but you're on leave, paid leave. Um, a lot of my friends um, are doing that, and then quite a few are also do it working from home when they're able. But those who are on leave, obviously, they don't really have anything to do. So uh, they've, I think they're starting to go a bit crazy, even though it's only been a week. But I've, I'm very well, well, what? <laughs> well, first in working from home. So I've just been working. Um, I'm not really, uh, yeah, I've just been working. There's been so much to do with the coming shop updates and the shop update that did happen on Monday and getting everything shipped out and all that admin stuff. But as soon as the huge shop update happening has been launched, I will be focusing on getting everything shipped out promptly and safely. And I will have time to take some knitting time off, even though it's work. With everything that's going on, I would encourage everyone to stay safe and take care of each other. And think about those who are vulnerable before you think about yourself, which is such an important message. I think it's easy to kind of go, no, I'll be fine. But yeah, you probably will, but someone else might not be that lucky. So heed the government's advice and take care of yourself and those around you. Um, if you are able, um, I encourage supporting the small businesses and of course if you're not, I know there's a, so many people worried about their economy and where the money's going to come from, um, there's encouraging people to support the small businesses is by no means intended to shame those who can't, uh, but if you can, um, for instance, my mother got me these. These are the best mac macaroons. Macaroons. Well, I don't know how you say it in English. <laughs> Macaroon. Um, and also, without a doubt, they are from Augusta. And they are delicious. I cannot wait to try them. I don't know what flavours they've done. I think there is... This one looks like licorice, which I love, and maybe sorts of caramel. I don't know what this is. Shall we try it? That is all for now. I'm going to make myself another cup of tea. Enjoy some of these delicious macarons. Macaroon. Macaron. Macaron. Macaroon. Macaroon. This is what we say. Macaroon. Sounds really silly. Thank you very much for joining me. Stay safe, take care of yourself and those around you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.